Yeah. All right. All right. So welcome back, guys, to Pick Up the Fork Podcast, episode three. We got a few uh, few serious topics today, a few funny ones. So uh, start. Isaac's gonna start us off with the funny with the funny one here. So we're be talking about the TikTok. We got some fans nowadays, right? So we're gonna get, dive right into that. And uh, it was a TikTok posted like imitating our podcast, you know, giving us shit for it. But you know, we honestly like we like it. Like we like the we like the clout. Yeah. Like you you can or say what you want. More publicity, right? Like, <laughs> exactly. Like publicity's publicity. Like. That stuff said all around, like any bad publicity is still publicity. You know, like what what's said in the TikTok, like we just laugh it off. It's pretty funny. Like yeah. not, we, we made a reaction video kind of, but like honestly, it just jokes to us. Like yeah. it doesn't hurt us. Like we don't we we're just laugh about it. So yeah, so uh, thank thanks to the fans for making a video for us guys. Like that was pretty good. So we appreciate that. Um uh, and, and just just to make just to make it clear, though, lag day is alpha right there. It's not a beta. It's not beta. If you skip lags, you're, it's funny. Like, I don't know where If, you, if you're skipping lags, like, you got you to gotta fix it. And one more thing. Boys were talking about uh, the creatine not going to your, like, the rest of your body. That's, like, the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> That's like, why we have no circulatory offense, system. Say but so. you got you to do your research first, right, guys? So, yeah. You know. Um. Just to just let you guys know, we got a new format here. We're doing a Zoom call. So basically, uh, with COVID restrictions and stuff, you know, we're just playing. Yeah, uh, yeah today, COVID's getting COVID. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so no, I was today, just going to say. Okay, hey, go, ahead. go COVID, ahead. COVID's getting bad around here, right? So we has got to follow restrictions and follow the rules, but we still got to make the podcast, right? Got to get the, gotta get gotta the get information out to everyone. So, yeah. So, uh, a few things we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about, about uh, supplements and like what we take and what how we think it works. We're also going to be talking about like ego lifting and about your priorities in and out of the gym. And then I, is there anything else, Isaac? Or last, like, yeah. La- last, we're going to talk about like, uh, like all social media, like influencers posting stuff and like whether it's realistically attainable for like all of us naturals. So yeah. we're, we're going to touch on that a little bit just at the end. Agreed. Yeah. So why don't you start? So us you you can start supplements if you want to. Okay. So for supplements, honestly, like, what do you take? Like, what do you think? Uh, like, it's, so, all, it's all. Like, on a daily basis. Like, so it, let's say if I'm training, um, I'll usually have, like, obviously protein. Some, like, usually protein one to two times a day. Like, protein shake. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. before I train, I'll take a scoop of, like, aminos with caffeine. And I add creatine to that because I want to get more water. And. That's pretty much it for me. Well, other than like vitamins and stuff like that. But yeah. I'm a Flintstone vitamin like all, kind of guy. But, uh, you know. Yeah, are you? Yeah, you know, so, yeah, you know, yeah. good ingredients in there. What about you? Yeah. I'm the same. I think that the three main ones you got to worry about, like, there's a lot of one, there's a lot of supplements out there and obviously they're all like beneficial in their own ways, but it's kind yeah. of revolves around, it all comes back to like, is it worth your money? So exactly. the three I think are worth your money for sure is, uh, protein powder because a lot of new lifters when they get in there that's that's what's stopping them they can't get enough protein in protein yeah, powder exactly. is like one of the easiest ways hands yeah. down to get your protein in and that's all pro like I, I feel like a lot of people think like protein powder is something special it's really just it's no really yeah an easy protein no. it's the exact same it's, yeah people yeah it's the exact same as eating meat except you don't get all the good yeah. stuff you eat, but, you know. It's it's literally like people think oh it's magical it's literally protein it's just an easy like there's nothing special about it honestly it's just exactly. an easy way to get your protein in so I recommend it like a lot of it's yeah. cheap out there don't buy it from your local supplement shop buy it online it's a yeah. lot, lot cheaper uh, sec- secondly I think the things the second most important thing in my opinion is creatine probably like yeah. it doesn't make you not natty like a lot of people think it's some crazy thing and, and when people start taking creatine the problem is people expect something crazy like honestly yeah. like it's not it's nothing crazy all it does for you it, it gives you like you put on more water weight and it gives yeah. your body a little bit more energy in the gym but like it's and, not like a steroid like it's not gonna yeah go- i literally did like like for most people like it kind of depends on you for creatine right like when i started creatine i didn't really even notice much and people say you gotta do like loading phases and stuff like i don't really know about all that but i don't even take creatine consistently every single day but i just take it before work is like it's not like some crazy super supplement. I mean, obviously it's good, you know, it's, yeah. it'll be good to take and it can help, but like, it's not gonna make you not natural. No, secondly, like it's, it's really cheap too. Like yeah, you go exactly. out there and you buy it. And like you, like you said earlier, like it depends for, it depends on the 
person. Like there's a lot of research out there that's got done. And it says like some people will see crazy, not crazy gains. Some people will see like significant change from it. And some yeah. people won't even affect you barely. Like exactly. honestly, like, it's going to put, it's going to put water weight on everyone. Like yeah, yeah, when you sure. start taking it the first week, if you're taking it consistently, you're going to put on like at three to five pounds at least in water weight. Yeah. And, and like it's that's that's not just muscle. Like people are like, oh, that's muscle. Yeah, exactly. No, it's water. It's it's water mass, and that's all it is. Um, and the third thing I'm gonna say that I think like it's. I mean, you don't have to take it at all. And like honestly, if you're young, I don't recommend it. I kind of got into it, and so you did too. Like yeah. just taking pre workout. Like, yeah. You don't have to take it. it. I mean, for me, it just makes workouts more fun. Like I just get more energy. Like I could have a, I could have a really long day at work or something, and I hit the gym and I take pre workout and I kind of fix it. Exactly. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like yeah. oh, it's like oh well, I slept two hours. Here we go. You yeah. Kind of fix yeah. it. I mean. Coming back to like the, the sleep though, like sleep's important, right? You can't yeah, do it yeah. as like a fix. But pre workout, like kind of like, I mean, gives I, I was talking somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, it gives you a little boost. But I, like we said about creatine, when people yeah. take pre workout, they're expecting something crazy. Like I made my own. It's not like, like I, I'll tell you, like it's not going to give you something crazy. Mainly yeah. where you're going to feel, you're going to you're gonna feel the caffeine a little bit, but you're not going to exactly. feel crazy. You like might feel the beta alanine, but that's about yeah. it. Like I, I take, uh, I've always, I've taken like aminos for like the past, like, like ea so essential amino acids yeah for the past like year or so and i just started with caffeine like maybe two months ago and like i don't even notice that much of a difference i just kind of enjoy the caffeine but it's like if you have the right mentality that you're going to train your ass off either way like it's yeah like, it doesn't it's, matter it's i still take it because i like it but like if i don't have i'm not relying on it you know what i mean and i think that's an yeah important- that's the I've kind of, I've kind of gotten too far. And like, I, yeah. I do kind of, I too kind of rely on it now. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely out. like, I would say I'm probably definitely addicted, but like, if I had to, I could go with yeah. that. Oh, same. But like, yeah. it, like when I started, I was like, I really don't want to rely on this. And like, I'm not going to lie. You get, you start taking it and you feel good. And you like, yeah, you take it, okay. you take a workout without it and you do feel different. Like you yeah, do, exactly. it, it does affect, but and uh, um, like, yeah, yeah well, I, I was just going to say, it's like, like mentally just, it's probably just mental right like i mean it's not it makes oh. a physical difference for sure but when you're like oh i didn't have this so this is why i can't push this weight then it's gonna affect you as well yeah i find it funny though because like yeah we, we would hand it like we made it i'm me and me and a buddy made our own pre-workout we would hand it around and some people would be like i don't feel this right and then some people like like it does a little bit but people had like unrealistic expectations for it but yeah, then other true. people other people thought about it like I'm going to feel this. Like, like it was all mental. Right. And they, and then they said they're going to feel it and they felt it like crazy. They told us yeah. they felt it like crazy. Like, I'm not saying it's magical. It just like a lot, every pre-workout, you're going to get a little boost in the gym and it might help you put push up, like give you that extra energy to push up maybe yeah. a PI or something, but exactly. it's not, it's not it, like, you don't need it. It just, it just kind of, yeah. if you want it, I guess. And I think like, um, if you're going to, th- if you're thinking about taking pre-workout, like Make sure you know how to push your body to that limit before you take Beforehand, it. Like, Beforehand, sure, like, yeah. Make sure you know how to how to like go as hard as you possibly can without it, and then it's like, why not, right? But if you're just like, if you start in the gym with pre workout, to me, that's not really that smart. It's just kind of like I, I don't believe in that either. Like, I mean, I I can't really say that much. I was in the gym for like like maybe a year and a half to two years seriously before I started taking it. Yes, yeah, but like, I don't believe in step. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in stepping in the gym your first day and taking it. Like, I really don't because you kind of set yourself up for a path of like relying yeah. on it and relying exactly. on other stuff yeah. too. Probably. Totally agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lastly, I'm just gonna like yeah. you said BCAs and, and EAs. Yeah. Uh, like I think I think they're good, right? But in my opinion, like if you're starting out and like say you're like say you don't you don't want to drop a bunch of money on stuff. Yeah. I would just start with the three that i i named like protein powder creatine yeah. and maybe pre-workout not even pre-workout if you don't have to but for me like bcas obviously like you said you take them and they're, yeah. they're beneficial they do help yeah they work they for taste me, good too right? yeah they, they work for you it's all that works nice, yeah man. it's all about what it takes it's all about what works for you but when you're starting out say you're like your parents don't want to buy you stuff don't worry yeah. about the bcas and the eas exactly. you like, can get that stuff the, none of this stuff is essential and in like bcas no. and stuff is a little less essential but for me personally I enjoy drinking them while I train and I yeah. feel like <laughs> my muscles a little bit more, right? So it's like, for me, yeah. it works. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody. I'm just saying for me, you know? And like, like BCAs and creatine too, you, you do get them in, in like when you're eating meat or exactly. whatever, but you just get, you're getting lower doses, right? So when you supplement yeah. them, it does help. It gives you the extra, like you, you're always consuming branched chain amino 
acids and they just come from your food. But when you supplement it, you just get an extra little, I mean, obviously you're supplementing, so you get a, a, an extra bit. Exactly. So like, let's say like, just for the people who don't know what BCAAs are and like EAAs and literally all your amino acids. So when you have protein, it's all built up of a certain amino acid profile. So like, if I'm taking a, uh, like if I'm drinking protein, let's say, there's a certain amino acid profile. And then if you're, let's say you want to get a BCA maybe or a EA, it can have a different amino acid profile with like more of certain ingredients to give you like, you know, more, more of an ingredient to give you a pump or more to like lose fat, stuff like that. So it's just like, you're always getting BCAAs whenever you drink, or you're, sorry, you're always getting like amino acids when you're eating or drinking protein, but it's like the, the amounts of them are different, if that makes sense. Yeah. They're, they're kind of just like the building blocks of protein, honestly. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly yeah. Right. yeah. So uh, should we move on now? I'm, sa- I'm saying we move on to, to eagle lifting. Yeah, okay. You so, eat- um, I mean, yeah, like, I think everybody kind of goes through an eagle lifting phase in their first yeah. time. Like, it's, yeah, it's, just kind of, it's just kind of the way it goes, right? You're like, oh, I want to lift this. And I remember when I first started, I deadlifted, like, two plates off, like, the, like, bottom rack, the squat rack. I don't, oh, know, nice. I don't know what I was doing and uh I destroyed my back for like a month I remember and I think everybody kind of has to go through that little phase where like you don't really know what you're doing and just kind of trial and error and stuff but like to the best honestly for me I like training like slow kind of and like as good form as I can get I mean obviously it's not always like that but I'm trying to get more like that and uh I think like as long as you can have good form what you what you should what everybody should aim for is good form for as many reps as you can like to to failure you know like in ego lifting i mean like it just doesn't really do anything for you you know what i mean in my opinion i mean I, i'm gonna say like if i was yeah so like if i was to tell you i never ego lift i'd be full i'd be full like i, I yeah, that's not true too. at all like i, I do yeah. and it's not good obviously like it's not good obviously but if I was going to tell you I don't eagle lift on deadlifts or I don't eagle lift on squat, like that's that's not true. Like yeah, sometimes, like I mean, make that clear. I I also eagle lift sometimes. I mean, I definitely know my form. Yeah, is down sometimes. But... Sometimes. Hey, go ahead. To, to quote some to quote someone I know, like the way to move from point A to point B, that's yeah. my excuse every time. Like if if I'm if I'm loading the the, the, the deadlift, like my form, I'm not gonna lie. Like I put I put up three sixty five the other day. My death was my deadlift form was horrendous. Like it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I'm I'm yeah, it was awful. But I'm just it's trying to get the I'm trying to hit a thousand. So I'm just I kind of have to ego lift to an extent, right? But yeah, yeah. Um and, and then again, like if you're trying to impress someone in the gym, like say there's some hot chick beside you or something, like I can't really touch much on that. But like if there was a hot chick, you gotta load some more weight on, baby. But um that like like I was talking to a buddy about it too. And like ego lifting to an extent, like if you're just say you're not going for px say you're going for eight reps say you're rowing yeah and like say say you're like your form's not perfect but it's not like terrible and it's it's about it's all it all comes back to progressive overload so like if you ha- yeah, have to like if, if your form's off a tiny bit but you're feeling more like say you're doing rows you feel it more in your back you feel it better you're moving more weight sometimes it's bad like sometimes you have to like a little bit yeah. like your form doesn't have to be perfect right yeah you know, obviously your ego lift, like it's all, it all comes down to like how, like if your ego lifting's like to a super bad extent, it's terrible. Like you're going to hurt yourself. And we both did. I did it on deadlift too. <laughs> like when I first yeah, time yeah. to wrap it up, I had 315 on there and I just smoked my back like terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody's yeah. done it. You know? It's just kind of, it's kind of something. Oh, yeah. I think um, like ego lifting, there's like a certain extent, right? Like let's say last week I got 10 reps on something. This week I want 11. And maybe I have, maybe my form breaks down a little bit on that last rep, like whatever. Yeah. Right. But it's like, no, yeah, I respect that. Yeah. But if you're like, I see it all the time, like boys on bench and like, it's hard to tell if they're doing <laughs> a bench or a hip thrust. Right. So it's like, Oh yeah. It's, all like the time. That, it's like at that point, it's like, you're just hurting yourself more. Like, you're yeah. not, it's not a, it's like, not I, under, a, I understand they're trying to like push more weight. They're trying to get more reps, but. It, like to that extent i don't think it's respectable like if you're yeah, I mean, at the point when you're throwing your like when you're like doing hip thrust on the bench you just look like it like i i, I don't exactly, respect it yeah. but it's just not and it's but, like it's you're not going to gain any muscle from that either you know like no, it just doesn't make sense no. no i mean like like i said earlier like 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 you said as well like if you have to 
tweak your fo- like if your form breaks down in the last rep say so you're trying to achieve progressive overload you're trying to go one more rep and if your exactly. bra- your form breaks down the littlest bit then it's 100 percent it's acceptable 100 yeah, percent yeah like it all comes down to progressive overload and even if you have to break down your form a little bit and ego lift then still do it in my opinion still do it you gotta yeah. you gotta you gotta see gains right so yeah i would just say like um i like a perfect goal i mean obviously it's not always going to be perfect but train with your with the best form you possibly can until like physical failure with that form you know what i mean so exactly like, if like you don't buy yeah yeah so like yeah, let's say i'm do doing that. like bicep curl right like you're just saying and like i'm like oh i want one more rep and i go for the rep and i physically can't get it i'm done right it's not like i'm gonna i'm not gonna drop back down like swing my back all the way up just to get that extra rep like that wouldn't be a very smart choice because I could injure myself. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the way I see it. That, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I agree with you to an extent, but yeah. it, like for me, what I do, like, I'm not saying this is right. This is all from my experience. Like if I, when I hit eight, say hit eight reps on bicep curls, sometimes yeah. like if I'm going to failure, like if I'm going to absolute failure, I do have, like do two, two reps of like, like I try not to swing, but like, I'm going to swing, yeah. like I'm going to failure eight. If you're going and to that, fail, you're like, sometimes it's, you have to, right? But Yeah, and that happens to me as well. I mean, I'm just saying in a perfect world, like, this is what I try to do. But, like, oh yeah, obvi- obviously sometimes it's just, like, I want one more, right? And you go for one more. Yeah, like, yeah, you're getting the one more, right? Exactly. There's no choice. Yeah. So, yeah. so Sometimes I mean, you have to. I mean, like, perfect, like, model is, like, and I, obviously I think, like, as, like, you should be working towards a perfect form kind of breakdown, like, things like, like, perfect form to failure. But obviously, it's not gonna just like you're not just gonna hop in the gym and just easily do that. You know what I mean? You gotta learn that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But like I think like so when you're when you're deadlifting like a lot of weight, like you like like I do it too, and I yeah. don't think it's right. Like I do it because I'm trying to hit a thousand for my for my total. Yeah. But like like if I in a perfect world, I would not be going for a three sixty five deadlift where my back is like bent like if I I don't even want to say like it's curved like terribly like I'm gonna like. I, like if you if I did that over and over, I would hurt myself. I'm doing yeah. I do it like once every two months, probably once every three months, just to get a new PR. And I mm-hmm. and I I don't even like I don't wrap it out before that either. I I, I literally just go for one wrap. and like I could hurt myself, but I I take the risk. Like yeah. and I, yeah. in an ideal yeah. world, either you wouldn't do it, but I mean it, you gotta yeah. do what you gotta do sometimes. And, and it all just kind of depends for your goals, right? Because it's like yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, because, like, if your goal is, like, like you just said, to get the 1,000 pounds, then, I mean, it makes sense to not have, like, 100% perfect form, but get the weight yeah. up, right? But then, like, if my goal is just to be bigger and, like, yeah, work, exactly. and, like build a better physique, then it's, like, it's not reason – it doesn't make any sense for me, you know what I mean? So, it kind of all for depends me, on your goals. Yeah, I agree. For me, like, the only viable time to ego lift, we'll say, is if you're going for a PR. Like, if you're going, like, for – it, no, if you're going for a PR or you're try or you're going past failure, because yes. say you're deadlifting like super heavy weight for five reps, and the third, the fourth, and the fifth one are terrible form, you got to put the weight down. Honestly, exactly. like you're gonna once, hurt yourself because yeah. It, once you realize that your form is breaking down, it's over, right? You got to you got to stop yourself. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Especially on a movement like deadlifting or squatting, where it can actually be really detrimental to your body, yeah. like. That they're they're like both of them in my opinion you can hurt yourself very easily i've hurt myself on both of them right and like yeah, those are one of the movements that with bad form you can it's, it can be detrimental to your body i agree yeah so it's like it's yeah. like you just got to understand like your risk and reward right and it's like yeah, oh yeah it's all about risk and reward ratio exactly that's yeah. all it is and like ego yeah. lifting like to a certain extent it's like yeah whatever but when you're at the extent where you're like causing your body harm you know yeah i like like, I agree with you. I think it's all about balancing it. Like, if you have to eagle lift to break – if you have to eagle lift to train mass failure, you have to eagle lift to put up a new PI or something, then do it occasionally. But if you're starting to hurt yourself, you just got to listen yeah. to your body, right? You got to stop. Like, exactly. stop listening to your body. And if, if you're consistently training, like, every set with the breakdown of form just because you want to lift more weight, it's like you're just – you're not helping yourself. You're just hurting yourself more. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I say, I think we should move on to the next topic, which is yeah, uh, priorities in the gym. If priorities yeah. in the gym and outside of the gym, we're gonna do both. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to start with? Do you want to start with your pri- what? What do you prioritize when you're in the gym? What do you think? Oh, for me, when I'm in the gym, like obviously, my first priority is to beat myself, right? Like beat last week and 
it's kind of like I'm always kind of trying to go as hard as I possibly can. And because like I know I'll never uh, like like I know I'm never going to like stop a workout just because it's like I'm too intense. You know what I mean? So it's always kind of like, let's see how hard I can push myself. And uh, but other than that, like my priority is basically just more either more weight than last week with the same form or like maybe sometimes I'll do a little less weight for better form if I feel like my form last week is bad. So it's always just kind of like my, my uh, priority is to do like my goal every time I step in the gym is to do as much weight as I possibly can for as good form for as many reps pretty much. Yeah. I think like, yeah. obviously, obviously like we're all competitive, like it's human nature to be competitive. Yeah. But in the gym, in the gym, it's one of those places where it's all about beating yourself. So like, exactly. obviously, like if, if my buddy like is benching 215 or whatever, like I'm benching 220, like I'm just going to try to do it. Like that's yeah. my, like, it's just human nature. I, I want to do it. But then again, you have to make it, you have to make it like your life like, or your, like, as I guess your goal, like to just beat yourself. Like exactly. if my match is 215 for bench, I'm, I should be trying to go for 220 or 225. Like it's all comes back to beating yourself and, Exactly. Like you said in the gym, when when you're in there, you got to prioritize progressive overload because that's that's the main thing that uh, that sparks muscle hypertrophy. You have yeah. to if if you're not if you're not lifting more weight or you're not going for more reps with the same form, then you're not going to grow. Like you have yeah. to like your body like your body's not trying to grow. Like honestly, like it doesn't like you have to force your body to grow. Exactly, and to, that's to, that's yeah. yeah. Um, that's what I was thinking. Like if like whenever I say good form, it's like that's good form, but like. If you're going with perfect form, but you leave like five reps in the tank, you basically you might as well just done nothing. No, you're cheating yourself. Exactly. Like you have to. Your body doesn't want to put on muscle if it doesn't have to. No, that's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. have to force it to. Exactly. Yeah. And you you do force it to it. Like eating is obviously a big thing. Like you're fueling your body, but in the gym, obviously you have to hit failure. Like you have to make it a priority to get to failure, to get past failure, and then eat enough. So that you're putting mass in your body. Like exactly. a lot of people say online on social media, like if you're training past failure, you're going to do harm. And yes, to an extent you can do harm pa- training past failure, but you have like, I think in my opinion and probably your opinion too, you got to train to failure a lot of the time. Like people say oh, it's yeah. not good for you. A lot of the sets that you're doing in the gym should be to failure or beyond. In I my opinion. Like, like mentally and physically for me, I need most yeah. of my sets and with a spotter helping for like maybe two reps. Right. Or yeah. like oh, even yeah. if even if I don't have a squatter, I'm still going to like my last rep is like slow because I can barely get it up, you know. And I think that's what it should be like. I mean, it, and it kind of goes along like as you progress in the gym, you have to go further, further past failure. Like you have to. So when you're starting, you you could get away with not even going to failure. You're getting new beginnings. You don't go to failure. You're still getting gains. Very, yeah. But as you progress, you have to start going to failure, and then as you progress even further than that. Like all of these guys that have been in the gym for years and years, they're going past failure on almost every set. Like you, you kind of have to sometimes when you yeah. like Chris Bumstead and stuff. Like he, he like you watch one of his YouTube videos with his workouts. He's yeah. shredding past failure with a spotter, like a lot of his sets. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And that's and you have to get to that point, right? Because like the whole process of building muscle in the gym is like an un like not unnatural like steroids. It's like an unnatural process that your body doesn't want to eat this much food. Yeah your body doesn't want to put on the muscle that it has to put on and if you're like if you're like uh trying to get shredded like your body doesn't want to lose the weight that is losing so you have to you have to force it right like you have to you have to do the thing like you can't just tell your body oh i want to be big and i'll just be big like you have to you have to tell it by doing the exercise and by eating it's the same thing with bulking and and cutting like we said like for bulking, your body doesn't want to put on extra mass because, like, and you're like, you have to force it to, and you do that by eating more food and doing progressive overload in the gym, putting more tension, like, get mu- more muscle tension. And for cutting, like, when you when you try to lose weight, you've you've done it, and I've done it too. Yeah. You like, you don't feel you feel, you don't feel very good. Like, your body's yeah, kind of telling you, like, you gotta fun. stop. You, you, <laughs> no, it's not fun. Like, it's not a fun process, and like, we both, everyone hates it. Like, you all do it, and your body's yeah. kind of like you're low energy, and but you gotta. You got to just, it's all about drive. Right? You got you to be driven and you got to push past that sometimes. So, and uh, one thing I just thought about, like, you need to be disciplined as well. Cause, like, 
because like everybody always talks about being motivated and like it's fun to be motivated but eventually you got to get to a point where it's just like i'm gonna do what i said i was gonna do if i want to do it or not you know it's yeah. like it's like i'm still gonna go to the gym even if i don't really feel like going to the gym today and i think those are the days that you really realize like i got this you know yeah, exactly. Like a lot of the gyms, uh, it's in your head. Like a lot of it, like, yeah. like obviously, obviously you should try to keep yourself motivated, right? You got to, sometimes you switch up your, your training splits. Yeah. You got to try new things, but, and like maybe even trying a new pre worker, like stuff like that does keep you motivated. Yeah. But like you said, to an, like once at a certain point, you're not going to, you're like, you're going to lose the motivation for a bit. And you just got to, you got to be disciplined. You got to get your, you got to exactly. get yourself in the gym. There's been periods where I was like, you got to get your food into the gym for like, like, I don't know, months, and I just kept going, and then it comes back, you know? So it's just, it's, it's, yeah, there's it's, always going to be. It's a yeah. cycle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, do you want to start talking about priorities outside the gym? Yeah. What do okay. you do outside the gym to help yourself in terms so, of getting gains? Uh, basically, when I leave the gym, like, I'm just excited to go to the gym the next day, but, um. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's true. I, no, yeah. it's true. It's true. Um, yeah. but my priorities outside the gym, like if we're not talking about like life, if we're talking about like just my gym related, we're talking about, yeah, oriented towards the gym, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like obviously sleep, I always want to get at least eight hours. I mean sometimes it's kind of impossible during school and stuff, but I do my best, you know. Um, I also want to get all my meals in and make sure that I have like my meals ready for the next day. So it's like I end up don't. Because it's all about being ideal, you know? It's all about being optimal for muscle hypertrophy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to make sure... We, you laugh, we laugh about it, but it's true. Yeah, but it's serious, you know? So you got to you gotta make sure you get your meals ready and stuff. So that's pretty much all my priorities are just getting make, making sure I get enough sleep. Oh, and also water, I suppose, yeah. Always trying to make yeah. sure I'm hydrated before the gym and after and stuff like that. So basically yeah. just meals, I, sleep, and water. I would agree with you, honestly. Like, I mean... In an ideal world, like, I mean, a lot of us are addicted to the gym and a lot of people, like, our lives, like, honestly, shouldn't revolve around the gym, but in a lot of cases, they do. Yeah, exactly. Like, when I, when sometimes, sometimes when I wake up, I, I'm thinking about the gym. Like, as yeah, bad same. as that sounds, it's, that's how it is. But yeah. um, like you said, like, I try to get my meals in. I, well, I, well, I, I don't try. I, I get my meals in. Yeah, I, give them I get my them. calories in. Never yeah, I, I drink the water and, you know, like, obviously, I'm not getting eight hours of sleep a night, like, not every night. But like you should, like you should try, because on like it, it makes a huge difference. You don't even understand yeah. it does. Like, like some people, you, know, you might not feel it, but it does make a huge difference, especially and we're oriented towards the gym. You getting your eight hours of sleep helps a lot. Like it really does. So yeah, as really, much as you don't want to get your eight hours, you want to stay up light and stuff. Like you just gotta get your sleep in, and like you gotta eat, like especially like before the gym and stuff. You gotta eat your meals and be after the gym, like. I don't know. You probably heard this. Like people, you talk about like an anabolic window. You got to get your food in after the gym at a certain point. Yeah, it's not true. It's not. It's not true. Like obviously, it might help. Like you got to get your calories yeah. in at some point. You got you to like, get your protein at some point, but it yeah, doesn't have to like, be thirty minutes after the gym. Exactly. Like if you like, let's say I go to the gym at like twelve o'clock in the morning, and then I don't eat again till like the next morning. It's like yeah, that was stupid. That's, that's stupid. But that's, like yeah. it's like if it it's if it's like I eat two hours after, or four hours after, like. It's not that big of a deal, right? It's not like it's not like all the gains are just gone. But that's not how as long as you're as long as you get the protein and the calories in at some point. Ideally it should be within two to three hours after the gym. Yeah. Absolutely. Like maximum. Yeah. But if you're like if you're after, it's not like you're gonna lose your gains. Like that's exactly. not how it works. But... I think that's a misconception. It's not oh like, yeah. It's like yeah, it's not like all the gains just go away. Like they don't just disappear. Like you're still exactly. putting your body to failure and your your body like you're tra- you're forcing your body to front put on mass, right? So it, you can't just the gains just don't disappear because you didn't eat 30 minutes after the gym like that's exactly. that 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 ideology it's kind of been broken but like a couple of years ago that was a huge thing like people yeah even i say you probably you probably hear this when you yeah, started I too like i, I was I watching a youtube like, video i'd always like bring a protein bar and i always thought i had to get a certain amount after working it was just yeah. it's like no you don't oh yeah it's funny it's funny looking back at stuff like that exactly, but, you yeah. know it's it's yeah it's it's yeah. all learning so process. i think like you, yeah you, we're always we're always learning like yeah like people like i mean obviously like we're not big like we're we're not huge like we're yeah. we're, we're still pretty we're still pretty small in, in like the eyes of bigger people yeah but sure. like you said we're all we're always we're always getting better right that's like that's the whole point of the gym you're trying to better yourself exactly. yeah you have to learn as you go it's like the, the gym in my opinion kind of symbolized like the one of the reasons i'm so like adamant to go to the gym because 
like it just shows my body like shows my, it helps in my mind thing and like i'm trying to maintain that same drive because when i get older when i get my job and stuff i, I want to be motivated i want to have that same drive as i always do exactly. and when i started in the gym that's one of the reasons i started because like i'm a super driven person but like i don't want that this to disappear when i get in the real world and we're yeah. still young I agree. the gym kind of helps me yeah yeah and, and what it was for me was like um the gym was something i could control a little bit which is cool but it's like whether you had a bad day or a good day, you went to the gym. Forty-five pounds is still forty-five pounds, right? It's like yeah, it's like that's the awesome. Weight, thing. That's the best yeah. thing about weights. Exactly. Like it's like whether whether I had a really crap day or a really good day, I go to the gym. The weight's still the same, right? So it doesn't care, and that's what I just like. It was always consistent. I kind of I just enjoyed the consistency of that. I like what you said about how you can't can like sometimes there's a lot of stuff in your life you can't control. But when you yeah. get in the gym and you're putting the work in, you're eating your food. That's something you can control, and that's exactly. that's one, like well, that's honestly one one of the reasons I started too. Like, yeah, maybe I was getting made fun of. Maybe my parents went through a divorce, whatever. But like, honestly, going to the gym is something I could control, and so you exactly. gotta have something like that in your life. Exactly, and I mean, some people say it's like obsessive. You know, eat the same thing every day, whatever. But it just it doesn't matter, right? Because it's like this is what I can control, and this is what makes me happy. So it's what I'm gonna do, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we're going to, the last thing we're going to touch on, uh, we're going to be talking about like, are most people you see on social media, like, is their physique attainable naturally? Yeah. Or even maybe even, maybe even on roids. Like if I was to take roids, you think I could get there or no? Yeah. Okay. So why don't you start us off on this one? Okay. I'm going to say uh, like a lot, almost like 99% of those pictures you're seeing are with a pump. They're with the best lighting you could ever imagine. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, they're taking, they're taking hundreds of photos. Like it's yeah, not one exactly. picture. Like it's yeah, like a it's photo like, shoot. Like they've got someone helping them. They've got lighting. They've, they've got a huge yeah. pump. That's like why I don't think people hundreds understand, of pictures. Right? Like these, yeah. a lot and of people and, influencers, like perfect scenario for everything, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's, they're, they're, they're knocking down the variables. Like you said, last yeah, exactly. video. <laughs> uh, you know, like, <laughs> no, but. Like if you're if you're in the like let's say there's a lot of people that train at raw gear right or not raw gear except the zoo culture. I know is, what you mean, yeah. But and like all of them like they look super aesthetic and a few of them are actually natural, but it's like it's like the the lighting and everything that they have makes them look crazy. But if you actually saw them in person, I don't think they're gonna look as crazy. You know what I mean? Like they obviously they look dope, right? Like we can't we, yeah. we gotta give it to them. They look sick, but yeah. like. They have, they've been practicing, they've been, they've been doing pose routines. Like they have perfect lighting with pump. Like they're editing their photos. They have hundreds of photos that they can choose from. Like they've got everything down pat. Like, and on, when we look at people like that, like when we started, you probably did the same thing. When you started, you're looking at these people and you're thinking like, I want to be like them. And yeah. for some people with, with crazy genetics, with the right poses, with the right lighting and stuff, you can attain that. Right. But yeah. I'm going to say it over 99% at least. Well, well, no, none of us will get every like anywhere close to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, naturally, like it's just. Like, yeah, that's that's got, another thing. That's another variable. Yeah, you just have to like think about like obviously everybody's genetically different, but just because like somebody, like there's a common misconception like so if somebody's really big, and like they're on steroids, it doesn't mean that you can't be that big, as well, right? Yeah, like it's true. there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that are like. 22 and they're already on juice and it's like maybe if you had a weight until you're like 30 you would have already been this big you know what i mean so like taking steroids doesn't just make you bigger than you could ever be i mean obviously in some cases sure but like it's just some people might be uh on steroids but their physique could still be attainably naturally is what i'm saying it, it's funny though because like i agree with you 100 percent. you yeah. see people in the gym you're like that guy's natty 100 percent and you don't understand, like a lot of these guys, they're like a lot of these people you see in the not, I guess not, not around here, but yeah. like say in California, you see it, you see some smaller guys in the gym, and they can easily be on juice. Like you, you never know, right? It's yeah. all about it all comes back to genetics. And even if someone is on juice or they're on gear, like they're on gear, like it doesn't take, it doesn't discredit their work. Like people no. think that taking steroids is just like, a, like, I mean, it's it's not magical, but like obviously it works. Yeah. But like it's not you're not just gonna you're not gonna shoot up and then be huge the next day like that's not exactly. how it works but yeah it's i mean there's still a work involved but i mean it's definitely like if you're oh, it helps a lot yeah if you're if you're like 
if you're on juice and you're playing on a natural playing field, it's like, it's kind of stupid, right? But it's like, it's like, eventually it's just a certain point where it's like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but um, like people will be like, if you're, if you're taking steroids and claiming to be natural, then it's just like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's like, like if people are open about like taking gear and stuff, like I, I don't like, I don't love it, but like, I respect it. Yeah, but yeah. If someone's taking gear and they're taking juice, like, and then they're claiming natty and they're not natty, then that's ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah, like, I don't know why I mean, you'd even do that. I mean, I don't respect somebody for being on gear, but as long as they're op- as long as they're like honest, like there's a lot of guys that you see on TikTok that are like, I am a non-natural athlete, right? And it's like, they'll say, I don't recommend it. And it's like, yeah, I respect you for saying that. But if it's just a guy that was like, wants to look yeah, crazy 100%. and pretend he's natural, it's like, man, like, why do you do that? You know what I mean? Really yeah, I want to like a touch on a little bit. Like a lot of those influencers you're seeing, even the ones that claim natty, I'm gonna say over half of them aren't natty. Like, that's just how it is. And yeah, it's just like I don't know, like people want to. It's unfocused. It's like they want a lot of us look at them and we're like oh. unrealistic expectations. You know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to touch on. It's just funny because I've seen it a lot and on YouTube and on TikTok and stuff. Have you heard of the new the new thing called Turkestrion or no? Yes, I actually was going to talk about this. <laughs> you've, heard, yeah. you've heard that too? So I've done do a little bit it? of research on it, but I don't really understand it all. As far as I can tell, it's an insect steroid or something. It's called an ecti steroid, and I, don't, I can't really understand what it does. No, do I, I mean, I've, I haven't done research on it. I've just seen it and like, I mean – some of my buddies have done research and they told me and stuff apparently like it's um it's almost like equivalent to a steroid according to some people but yeah. it's just like an i guess it's naturally made or it's naturally found in your body or something uh, yeah so um, it's like it's really weird it's uh yeah. it's like a nat it's like naturally occurring but so it's like oh, a, yeah. it's like a steroid but it doesn't affect your hormones which like so you don't have to cycle it or anything so for oh like, yeah I've yeah, seen, yeah. So, so it doesn't but it can help like muscle recovery because it I think it like helps absorb amino acid or something I don't really know so that's why I'm not gonna I'm, impre- I'm impressed with your knowledge though like I you yeah know more than I do I sure. mean I know I know like, a little bit but um I'm not gonna like you don't know enough to recommending yeah. it or anything because I don't really know but uh maybe we I mean uh, on that yeah we'll do some more research on that but another thing I want to say is. Like a lot of that stuff, like turcasterone, even like, I don't want to say creatine, because creatine is effective in my opinion, but yeah. stuff like that, like a lot of people throw stuff out on social media, like this is sick. It's like a lot of, the, like a lot of that stuff is, it's because of word of mouth and because of what people have said about it. Really? A lot of the stuff's over, overhyped. Like I think creatine yeah. works. I think it, I think it, I think it does wonders in the gym, but people saying that it's like a steroid and stuff, like yeah people are just overhyping it. it's not that good like we've both taken it it works it yeah. does work don't get me wrong it's not it's like not some... it's not yeah. and it's i think it's am i like i've never tried to guess it. i don't plan on it because i don't know i just i'm not down for that but yeah you know i feel like even, even if we hopped on that like i don't think we get huge like i don't think yeah. it's that good like i think it, it works yeah. probably but there's nothing you're gonna hop on you're just gonna get huge right like that's just not no. even, yeah. even 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 that's a, that's a misconception yeah, yeah even anabolic so you can hop on those you're not getting big like you're not getting huge um but one thing you gotta like understand about all the social media influencers is like everybody's trying to sell you something right so oh everyone like Like, yeah so it's like it's like they're like you gotta think their information it's like good information right but then if at the end of the video they talk like let's say somebody makes a video about (laughs) and they talk about how good it is and at the end of the video they're like use my code to buy creatine on this website and it's like you gotta understand that they only made that video so that you would buy it and it's funny though because um especially when people are big like that you gotta like think about it you gotta kind of like consider their information consider what they're saying and look at like because a lot of times because they're big we just automatically respect it and that's doesn't that's not how it works there's a lot of big guys out there that are just they're just full of like they're full of crap like it's not it doesn't make any sense yeah and I, I want to, like, I agree, like, everyone, like, like you said, everyone on social media, like, all those influencers, they're, they're making money. That's the, what, that's the reason they're doing it. This is like, they're job. not doing, they're not doing, like, they're trying, like, obviously, like, some of them are doing it for good intentions. They're trying to inform you. They're trying to help you. 
But the, at the end of the day, like you said, they're making money. They're selling something. Like you exactly. watch, like like I, I used to be, I used to be a big Greg Doucette fan, and he's really he's a big dude. He's from Nova Scotia. Yeah, he's fun looks, to watch. Looks, it looks unreal. Yeah, he's fun to watch. But like a lot of the time, a lot of the reason we respect him is because he's big. And like like you said, like he, in my opinion, he's got good information. But in every five seconds, he's screaming at you to buy his fucking cookbook. Like yeah, like, so it's like... I, I apologize for swearing, but it's just funny because. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I, it's I like you gotta that. understand, right? Like, like if somebody is talking about how good something is, and then all of a sudden they yeah. try to sell it to you, it's They're like, well, it. yeah, obviously you think it's good if you're trying to make money off it, right? So you just got to be aware of that yeah. in the fitness industry for sure. I mean, there are some people like us. We're not trying to sell you guys anything, right? Yet, but, no. Uh, like if, if yet. you want to go, if, if you want to go buy some, if you want to go buy some Galaxy Pure I'm not gonna tell you no. But like then again, I'm not shout. I'm not screaming at you guys every ten minutes. Exactly. By my freaking galaxy. Yeah. Right. But... yeah. So uh, <laughs> we have any other topics? Yeah, that's. No, yeah, I think yeah. that's the end of the video. Um, I want like for for the like like me and Matt. Matt, I think Matt said it earlier, but I don't know if he's. I don't know if we're recording at that point. Um, so we just want to hear what you guys think of our podcast, yeah, and like yeah. if you guys have any questions you want us to address, any topics yeah. like maybe not, something. Like, is this guy natty or not? Us. Like. So. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we'll do some comparisons. We can do some more of those. Uh, just comment anything down below, yeah, guys. Yeah. I love, be... love like. Hey, go ahead. Yeah, and we're tr- we're also we're also like another thing. We're trying to get like as many people as we can on here because honestly, yeah. it makes it more interesting and just makes it more yeah. fun. Like, I don't even care if you hit the gym. Like, if if you have anything to add to this podcast, I want you on the podcast. I agree, yeah, like, so... I don't like. I've I've already asked people and stuff. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't care if you're like a big gym rat or whatever. If you have anything to add, like maybe you're a girl and like you're, you can help us out with a dozen of gym, help you pull girls or something. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us, give us some insight, like stuff like that. Like we, we want anyone, anyone, we want to kind of do it, make it more fun for the audience, right? And having someone yeah. like Cole Haynes or Christian Cook on here, like it makes it more fun. Exactly. So, so yeah, just comment down below, guys, what you want to see us talk about next episode, any questions you have, anything like that. And even anybody you want on the podcast, you know, and uh, we can we can see about getting them on for sure. So uh, just hit the subscribe button, obviously. Like we said, yeah. comment comment some questions, comment maybe some guests. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up for the boys. And then nice. we're, we're, we're going to keep this up. Like probably, we'll probably post, I think we're going to post like once a week. And we're going to try yeah. to get some fun guests on here. Once, uh, once we like get these lot, guys. Lots maybe, of people. Yeah, maybe more if we can. But for now, it's going to be about once a week. So just stay tuned. Yeah. And uh, thanks yeah. for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot. And we'll get, see you Get next in the gym time. and get big, boys. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. it. In the gym. See you next time, guys. Yeah. All right. Bye.